pathology in how we feel, how we think, and how we behave will define what we have, what's wrong with us. Now, <clears throat> if it's an overall composition of how you think, the styles of how you think, feel, and behave, you are going to become a personality disorder if it's inadequate to what's going on around. But if you, where you feel becomes stuck up or down, you can become a manic depressive. In development, I discuss some of this stuff, how it comes about, how it's very important, why the way we store feelings and the way that we store thoughts are different. Now, thoughts are similar. They can be stored either as dreamlike language, I'm talking computer terms, or they can be um, binomial, either this or that, very logical. Now, if, the break, if there is a breakdown in the storage mechanism of the two different mechanisms, you're going to see a different type of psychosis. This is all explained in the book. You can agree with it, you cannot agree with it, <coughs> but it makes sense. <coughs> it might not be true. A lot of things make sense, but they're not true. We don't know. I don't know. I'm just suggesting this is the way it could be or it might be. <coughs> you read it, you think, say what you think. But when we come on to the next part, which I'll be discussing in a few minutes. <laughs>